Well, the historic removal of House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is causing a stir in the political sphere. The votes saw eight Republicans side with the House Democrats. Experts say it is a polarized House with extreme views on both sides of the aisle. WKYT's Julia Sandor explains the decision and what uh, to expect moving forward. It's a historic event for the U.S. House of Representatives. We've had revolts against House speakers before, uh, but usually that pushback comes from within their own party. And a party, members of a party aren't usually willing to jeopardize their own control of the chamber in order to force changes in their leadership. Political expert Dr. Stephen Voss says the House has highly polarized parties, making it a difficult mix. But by avoiding the last government shutdown, Dr. Voss says Speaker McCarthy angered some of those who are far right, and they joined the Democrats to take him down. Insofar as vo voters were worried about a government shutdown and all the negative implications that could have had, um, this tearing down of Speaker McCarthy just increases the odds that next time we do get a government shutdown. As someone who's seen the power the gavel holds from inside the chambers, former Congressman Ben Chandler says he's not surprised by the situation at hand. This is easily solved by people putting their own interests behind the interests of the, of the country. And people are not willing to do that. I, I know that, that when I was there, I saw people do that all the time. You had to do it constantly. You have to do it on a regular basis because you're never going to have people agree with you all the time. The House is now in recess until October 10th when they are expected to hold a candidate forum. If they don't get their act together, it's going to be a huge problem and it's going to have impact on average citizens. Julia Sandor, WKYT.